And we found one of the waterfalls that we were looking for. This is a story trail. Oh, uh, yeah. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, We're everyone. Back. We're back. We are uh, off on a road trip. No trailer this time. Right. It's a little cold here. Still a little cool. Yeah. Uh, it's our Eastern long weekend, so we're going to go do a little staycationing. Yeah. Okay. Stayca stay 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 staycation. Stay stationing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're going to go out and uh, have some breakfast. We're gonna have some breakfast, and then we're going to take a little road trip around the area and um, stay the weekend at a place called Quail Lodge. Quail Lodge. Quail yeah. Lodge. It's uh, be quite a nice place. It is. So we're going to go check that out. We'll do some do some filming and get some information for you and share that as we go along. Mm -hmm. And um, hopefully, uh, maybe find a little hike to do. Yeah, there's a couple down at the uh, Shishwap Provincial Park, I believe it is. Mm -hmm. A couple of shorties. And we'll see how the weather is supposed to be kind beautiful. of, sort yeah. of. <laughs> That's beautiful yeah, right now. Right it's now. supposed to be nice tomorrow, so. But strong winds. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, I know. I oh well, I whatever. The wind. Okay. But anyway, uh, All right, then. first things first coffee. Coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Catch you later. Well, here we are. We have arrived. Check out the carvings on these doors. The bears, eh? Nice. Oh, there's more on the interior doors. Oh, look at that, eh? Sweet. Walk on in. Lots of woodwork. Oh, nice. Very nice. I'm just going to admire this while Janet checks in. There are carvings on the fireplace hood there. So our room was just of the basic variety on the lower floor, and uh, this was our view out of our room. Look a little bit down there to Shushwap Lake, and all the rooms and everywhere around the resort had all these little pictographs um, around. And unfortunately, we couldn't find anything that kind of explained what they meant, but they're all kind of cool. And then as we pan up and over, we see the exterior part of the restaurant and the outside deck area. It wasn't open yet because, as I say, this is still spring and it was, there was still a bit of a nip in the air. Now this was some artwork on our floor and it is, expands an entire wall. It's a metal sculpture and it's depicting the salmon run that uh, is, this area is renowned for. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in a little bit, but this shows everything. The eagles, the salmon, the bear. Um, water trickling and uh, it was really really cool every time we walked past we saw something new but it was really quite stunning and quite soothing So down this hallway is supposed to be the swimming pool and the jacuzzi and the gym. So we're going to go down here so we can't find them. Nice artwork, eh? Black pen and ink. Here's the gym. You got a treadmill, you got a recumbent, and it looks like a stationary bike down there. And your weights. There's the pool, so after that you can jump into the pool. And we may entertain that a little later on. Uh, maybe not, it's uh, maybe, how about that, we'll go in the hot tub. It's a little cool out there, it'll be nice and warm in there. So here we have uh, the lobby for the conference center. Very bright, actually very modern, got some wood touches on it. There's 
First Nations uh, artwork adorning the walls. This is just one of the items. Kind of looking right at you, isn't it? And here we have a sockeye salmon. Yep. Theme of this whole Quail Lodge is sockeye salmon run. And as you can see it here, a bear catching a salmon. You do a nice job on carving these doors, don't they? Somebody's quite talented. There's more doors down there. Here we have some stained glass up here by the dining room, which uh, we'll be partaking in a little bit later on. So we've arrived at our destination for the weekend. Frankie? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going to take a little walk. This um, Quail Lodge is um, also, uh, well, it's, it's Quail Lodge and Talking Rock Golf Course. So we're going to just take a walk here on the, about the 18th hole, right along the edge of Shushwap Lake, kind of see what we're going to shoot tomorrow and uh, yeah, get some fresh air. Dinner has arrived. Mushroom bolognese. Little odules. Can I start now? You can start now. <laughs> oh my! Oh, we seem to have taken a little bit of a wrong turn right up on this uh, dirt road. Yo! Another one of Frank and Jan's adventure lost on a dirt road out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Looking for a provincial park, no less. Yeah, it's really provincial up. <laughs> <laughs> well, right. When we said we were going on a road trip, we mean it. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> And we found one of the waterfalls that we we're looking for. You see, dear, I told you we'd find waterfalls. <laughs> <laughs> well, nice day for a walk. A bit uh, nippy, but it's a gorgeous day. Let's see what we can find. All right, this is where we're going. We can take this little hike. Are you ready? Ready. All right, let's go. Well, I must say it is a bit nippy out here. It's a little chilly, yeah. Yeah, I know. You there you are. <laughs> yes, the breeze, the breeze is a little chilly. And the sun is nice. Yes. Still early spring. Everything's still starting to bud out. So it's a little bit um, sparse around here. <laughs> How long was this walk? Hour and a half. Hour and a half hike? Is it an hour and a half? Okay. Nice trail. Yeah, getting deeper into the woods here. Tall trees. With the tall timbers. The sun peeping through. Oh, 
How you doing, hon? My nose is running. Nose is running. <laughs> <laughs> it is nippy out here. I think so. A little bit of sunshine here, eh, girl? <laughs> oh, yeah, nice and warm. This is a story trail. So we're scanning QR codes as we go along and uh, listening to the stories that they tell about the different areas that we're passing. It's kind of cool. Yeah, we just what, did a river one? We did the one on the river. Yeah, on yeah. the river. Okay, we're stopping for that QR code. Well, this is on snowberries. This is on snowberries. Snowberries. The roots of snowberries are diuretic, especially to the stomach. They make a good remedy for indigestion and for morning sickness. The berries are astringic and emetic. All parts can be used externally to help the healing of burns, sore cuts, and scrapes. The berries also make a soothing wash for inflammations and sores around the eyes. So this is it's kind of cool. So this is on well, we just listened to a little bit on the snowberry, and um, so this whole trail has got these little QR code posts that you scan them, and they tell you a little bit about what you're seeing in the traditional um, uh, stories that go with. It's really kind of cool. It's the first one apparently in the in the BC Park system. So what well, is apparently yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So kind of cool. Kinda so cool. we'll see what else we learn about today. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we have emerged from the forest and uh, come upon the river here. I believe, what is this? Hey? What's What do you think? What? What river is this? Shushwap? Maybe? I don't know. Potentially. I don't know. Not sure. Part of the Thompson? Not sure. I'm going to pull up. Oh, stickage. Very clear. Very clear. And probably very cold. <laughs> I guess we're going to be heading back to the parking lot there, eh? Yeah. River, oh, oh, I guess, oh, check out the duck. Big duck. Do we know where we're at? Not enough. I'm pretty sure this is where we are right here. Oh yeah. Yeah. The Adams River has one of the largest sockeye salmon runs in North America. Every fourth year is a dominant salmon run, with millions of fish to be seen from late September through to the end of October. 2018 was the last dominant run, and this year, 2022, will be the next dominant run. And there will be hundreds of schoolchildren on these banks looking at all the fish going by. It really is an amazing sight. So we've been out this morning on a lovely walk through one of our provincial parks. And Instagram I'm time. Even going to attempt to say it in the uh, First Nations language, but um, we'll get a, we'll get a shot of the actual sign so you can see. But beautiful park system. The trails are amazing, and um, this actually winds its way through and around the Adams River, which is a huge salmon spawning area. Um, uh, later in the year but um, yeah it's beautiful it uh, it's brisk the sun's nice and this walk would not have been possible without my earbags so we shall continue I can park my here, right? <laughs> this is Frank and Janet's golf adventure 
Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Jan's golf adventure. Holy moly, it's been a long time. It's been a very long time. That's why it's an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right then. Tee up, good to go. You know, I do remember a few things. Yep. I especially had a worm burn. What? <laughs> worm burner? Worm burner. Okay. There we go. Oop. Okay, get the movement down. Yes. Beautiful. I know. We should have come out here and done this earlier. I know. <laughs> Oh, well, it's a while away the afternoon, shall we? You know, really. And I suppose just in case anyone is wondering, these are just seven irons. <laughs> oh, yeah, seven irons. This is, you know, tin cup practice. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Because it's been so long, we thought we'd just bring, you know, one club and give it a go. <laughs> so as the lights come on and the evening shadows begin to appear, we say thank you, Quay Out Lodge for a wonderful weekend. We really enjoyed ourselves. Thank you. Good night. Hey everyone, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Remember, subscribing is always free, and we'll see you next month. Thanks again for watching.